Rule 19 is conduct of vessels in restricted visibility. Most of the questions you see on Rule 19 say, if you hear a fog signal forward of your beam, slow to bear steerage. Mm. That's, that's what you'll see in the question banks a lot. Okay. So subpart so three, conduct of vessels in restricted visibility. Rule 19, conduct of vessels in restricted visibility. <clears throat> this rule applies to vessels not in sight of one another when navigating in or near an area of restricted visibility. Every vessel shall proceed at a safe speed adapted to the prevailing circumstances and conditions of restricted visibility. A power-driven vessel shall have her engines ready for immediate maneuver. Every vessel shall have due regard to the prevailing circumstances and conditions of restricted visibility when complying with rules 4 through 10. A vessel which detects by radar alone the presence of another vessel shall determine if a close quarter situation is developing or if risk of collision exists. If so, she shall take avoiding action in ample time, provided that when such action consists of an alteration of course, so far as possible, the following should be avoided. An alteration of course to port for a vessel forward of the beam, other than for a vessel being overtaken, and an alteration of course toward a vessel a beam or abaft the beam. Except where it's been determined that risk of collision does not exist, every vessel which hears apparently forward of her beam the fog signal of another vessel, or which cannot avoid a close quarters situation with another vessel forward of her beam, shall reduce her speed to the minimum at which she can be kept on course. She shall, if necessary, take all her way off and, in any event, navigate with extreme caution until danger of collision is over. So you're out in the fog and you hear a fog signal forward of your beam. You need to slow down. Okay. How about if you're not sure it's forward of the beam? You assume it is forward? Yeah. Assume so there's danger of collision and slow down. So you assume the risk is there. Mm -hmm. And if they're at anchor or ground, you're going to hear sound signals at every one minute. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> if they are underway, you're going to hear your one prolonged and two short, right? Three. Every five yeah. minutes. Four, sail plus supper. So you're going to get your one prolonged and two short, restricted in fishing, whether underway or at anchor. Power driven vessel, one prolonged is underway making way, two prolonged is underway not making. Right? You're tugging your toe. One prolonged, two short, followed by one prolonged, three short. A pilot may make an identity signal consisting of four short blasts. I am your pilot. Good. These are vessels underway in restricted visibility. Okay. Whistle signals at not more than two minute intervals. And then we have our Anchor, right? Anchored. Which is a, a bell. Less than a hundred. Rapid ringing of a bell. Over a hundred. Rapid ringing of a bell in the fore part. Rapid gonging of the gong in the after part. A ground. Same signals. Three distinct strokes before and after. So less than a hundred. Three distinct strokes, rapid ringing of the bell for five seconds, three distinct strokes. Over a hundred, three distinct strokes, rapid ringing of the bell for five seconds of the four part, three distinct strokes, followed by gonging of the gong in the stern for about five seconds. And then, vessels at anchor and vessels aground may, in addition, sound a signal. You remember what that signal is? Uh, short, long, short. Short, prolonged, short. To warn of their position and risk of danger. Good. 
So you might see a question that says, vessels at anchor may sound a whistle signal consisting of three blasts in succession, namely one short, one prolonged, one short. 